<clears throat> All right, who knows what this is? If you guessed the front caster wheel for an automower, you are correct. Now, this is the part here that would be up inside the front of the automower. And, of course, this is your wheel here. Now, something we didn't realize was uh, an issue is a lot of people don't know what's inside there or anything about this. Um, for example, did you know that you can change this tire part right here? Um, one like this where the tread's starting to wear down and it's starting to go bald. You can replace just this center section here, the rubber part. Or, if you end up with an issue like this, where your wheel just pops off, completely assembled, then you're going to need to know how to get this apart and what all is involved with it. So, <clears throat> real easy to do. You've got three holes right here. Probably packed full of grass and some other crud. And you clean them out. Get out your trusty tor uh, T20 Torx bit here. And in each one of these three holes, there's a screw. And you just take those screws out. Same screws they use in the automower or on the automower for a lot of stuff. The ones with the gray head. Again, if you don't have a T20 Torx bit, um, you know, screwdriver or T handle or something, uh, uh, you know, of the T20 nature, and you own an automower, uh, what are you waiting for? Because that is going to be the main tool that you are going to use for any repairs. So, get the last screw out here. And again, this is just screwed into plastic, so no need for impact drivers and things like that. You know, regular screwdriver or, uh, you know, simple hand tools will get the job done. So, um, then what you're going to do is you're going to separate this. You know, sometimes it's a little stuck, but believe me, it will come apart. So, you take this apart and... Uh, there you go. This is the uh, the tire right here that you can replace. Now you can see it's got a, a flange here on this side. So that would go towards what we would call the, the inside of uh, the, the wheel assembly. You know, the axle here. So it would go to the inside. So this one here, as you saw, it would slide on and off as a complete assembly. So what happened there is this little retaining clip here failed and uh, just gave out and it slid off now this one here as you can see it's still solid the whole way around every now and then you'll find ones like this uh, that end up they just give out they break and that causes this so if this happens you definitely need to get a new one if you have one like this and it just slid off there what you can do is um you can take and tap down these little little fingers right here so it actually grips the shaft tighter when you go to put it on and you'll be able to reuse that these are metric so ones from the hardware store don't exactly get the job done if they're a standard one um, I believe this is a, an 8 millimeter and as close as that is to 5 16 5 16 usually just doesn't work um, so if you can, I mean, if you can get one of them on there, you know, by bending the fingers around and stuff, hey, more power to you. But this is something that you'll probably want to get from your dealer. Um, if you're a dealer and you don't have this, what are you waiting for, you know? Um, so at any rate, you would have this, this washer would be on here. Oops. This washer would be here. And then... Your retaining clip would be on the very end inside the wheel so you got all that in there you got the retaining clip the washer then you got a bearing and then you have the back of the wheel assembly right here inside that there's a seal and another bearing which you can see right here and then this part right here on the back, on the axle, oh, it's a little tough, but that actually comes off too. And what you want to do when you're making, or when you're putting this all back together, is you want to make sure 
that these little nubs right here um, on the axle, they, they are um, in the slots. Because if you don't have this lined up right, it's going to throw your spacing completely off and you'll never get that clip on there. So you want to make sure you have that turned right, lined up the right way. And then you'll put your back plate on there. Then you put your bearing in. Then your washer. And then your retaining ring. Now, to get this retaining ring on there, you can, you know, choose how you want to do it. Um, most people, what they'll do is they'll put a socket that goes, or, you know, fits right around the outside of this and just press down on it or tap down on it gently, and that'll get the job done. Now, it's a little tougher because this is, again, this is going to be in the mower. You're probably not taking your mower apart to do this, so you're going to have to deal with the whole mower. So you're going to have to get this situated just right or have somebody hold it um, to, to be able to do this unless you feel like splitting the entire mower open and you'll find another one of these on this part holding this into the mower. So kind of pick your poison there. It's a lot more work to take the mower apart, but it's a lot easier to hold one of these, you know, in a bench vise or something if you're trying to put everything back together. So we'll grab something here push that down one so I can show you how to take it back off okay so we have our retaining ring here we got a socket that fits nicely around the outside of it so we're gonna put this on here and uh, sometimes you can just push on the socket and press it on by hand or other times like I said you've actually got to tap it with a hammer a few times but there it is, it's on there, and um, get it on there a little bit straighter. So there it is, it's on there. So this is what you would have. You know, you put your, your rubber tire back in there, and you put this back on. So you're going to change this tire, everything's secured on there. Um, when you pop this apart, this is on there. So normally you have no issues, right? Um, now again, like I said, you would have the same retainer up here. Uh, holding this into the mower. So if you go to do anything in the mower, you have to get that off. So what you would do, the easiest way to do this is get a thin, flat screwdriver. Uh, let me see if I can find one here. Uh, I should have been a little bit more prepared for this, but at any rate, um, the thinner the better, but you just get in under there and um, watch your fingers don't force on it real bad and just get in there and you gently just pry around it and you can pry that up around there that right there is why you don't force on it because that screwdriver is going to go flying into your fingertips and cut you open but just work your way around it lifting a little bit at a time and uh, you can pop that right off there now it will come flying off there if you're not careful and don't hold on to it so that's why, again, just go gently with it. Take a little bit at a time, as you can see. And there you go. It's coming right up off there. When you get to the edge, again, make sure it doesn't go flying. And just like that, there it is. It's off. So now you pry it on that to remove it. This is one of the times where you want to just tap those fingers down a little bit more so you can reuse it. Um, I wouldn't recommend reusing it very often because sooner or later that's just going to wear the metal out, you know, it's just going to keep giving over and over again. But um, if you're in a pinch and you definitely need to reuse it, that's how you would reuse it. Just tap these down and uh, you're good to go. So we got everything lined up there. We're going to put this back on. You want to make sure everything is good and tight in there. Like there, that bearing can slide back and forth. That means this thing is not on the whole way. So you got to get that pressed down in there. Because you want everything to be nice and snug. You don't want any flopping around or any kind of movement there. And uh, you want to make sure that that retaining ring is even the whole way around there. You don't want to be 
you know, um, at a slant across there or um, cocked up on the one side or anything like that. So get it in there. Get it on in there so it's nice and flush with that bearing and the washer. And then the wheel, you can only put that on one way. Because you can see these are raised here and it's notched out where the screws go. So it's only going to, you know, if you try to put it on there, it's not going to fit. You can see. So you just turn it. There it is. It's lined up. Put your three screws back in there. Again, you've got a metal screw going into plastic, so you don't need to, you know, hoss on it with all your strength, and you don't need to go breaking out your impact or anything like that. You know, a couple of flicks of the wrist and tighten it down, and you're good to go. So we'll put our uh, last screw in there. And there we are. We're all back together again. Everything moves freely. Um, if we had a new tire for in here, we would have thrown out a one, but that's just, that's how you do it. A lot of people have asked. There it is. Nice and secure. You know, it's not going anywhere. It's stuck on that axle, which is what we want. And that's how you uh, do the maintenance on a front wheel assembly on uh, an automower. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode here. Um, we we made this episode because three times this week alone, we had somebody question us about something to do with the front wheel on an automower. Now, I know there is not a lot of support out there for these things yet. Uh, a lot of dealers have no clue when it comes to actually working on one, what to do. Um, they don't have uh, parts available on hand or anything like that. Um, so we want to help you guys out the best we can. Um, make sure to subscribe to our channel and that way you can get these videos when they come out. Now, not all of our videos are automotive videos, but there's a good many of them. Um, any rate, uh, the videos we do have out, if there's something you need to know or you want to see, leave some comments on there on the videos we have out. Or you can email two different emails, um, automowerinfo at gmail.com or automowerguy at gmail.com. And you should be able to get some answers there or, you know, get guided in the right direction for some help. Uh, this one here, you know, another big thing with this is we want to make sure you know that you can just replace this tire right here. You don't have to replace this entire wheel assembly, which is available as a package deal. You can get this, but... You know, that's like 30 or 40 bucks for that whole assembly when you can just get this tire for way less. And now you know how to replace it yourself. Your mower's not going to be tied up at a dealership for a couple weeks waiting for them to get this simple little part in because they haven't yet started the stock parts for an automower. So you can order one of these uh, from anywhere if your dealer doesn't have it. If you don't have a dealer near you and you're looking for just a tire or any of these parts, Send an email to automowerguy at gmail.com. Let us know what you got, what you're looking for, and we'll try to get you hooked up. Simple as that. So there it is. Uh, again, we hope you learned something here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel. Keep checking back, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon.